first thing we want to do is put our tooling in, which installs from both ends and cranks on. We put our alignment uh, pin in, and we bring the two pieces of the tooling together so that we can align our angle. And we've got it there. We zero our angle. We now have a reference point. We remove our alignment pin and we're ready to install the spring. Because we're going to put this spring under compression, we've added a compression device which will push our uh, headstock over and allow us to put this spring under compression. We may actually have to uh, adjust this a little bit to get it to install into our framework. We've designed our tooling with a stop when we bring our compression in to uh, where the tooling will bottom out. We're ready to test the spring. We can develop about 250 pounds of compression on a spring with our new compression adjuster. For ease of uh, repetitivity, repeat, repeating, we have a carriage stop there which can also be used as a stop device if you don't uh, have individual tooling to do that. Once we get there, we can turn the spring and the force reading is changes with the angle. We can go either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise in the torsion spring. And as we change, you'll see the force is changing. We take it to the degree we want and we can record and score our reading and we're ready to go.